We live in an incredibly diverse world, which is yet to be explored. According to some studies, approximately 86% of species still await description. With the potential 2 million species, fungi constitute a significant part of this undescribed biodiversity, as we only know of around 150,000 fungal species. Most described fungal species are microfungi, small, silent, but essential pillars of Earth's biodiversity. In any given ecosystem, a fungus may play one of two very important roles, a plant partner or a caretaker. Some fungi form a partnership with plants, called mycorrhizae. They wrap around the plant's root system and significantly increase its surface, which makes plants more efficient in absorbing water and minerals. What do fungi get out of this deal? Sugars. The more a plant can absorb, the more it grows. The more sugars it can produce through photosynthesis, the more food for the fungi. As most fungi are saprophytes and obtain their food by absorbing organic molecules, they represent Earth's great recyclers and caretakers. They feed on dead organisms, grow and make those nutrients available for other organisms. In fact, as fungi are the only organisms capable of breaking down the rough lining shell of plants, if fungi were to disappear, life on our planet wouldn't be possible due to enormous piles of plant debris. Molds are one of nature's great environmental saprophytes and can be found on practically all living and decaying organic matter. They are small filamentous organisms found almost everywhere, from the Arctic to the Antarctic. Unfortunately, being able to grow on any surface with very little moisture means that they quite often grow in our homes, especially in dark and moist places such as basements, kitchens and bathrooms. Molds eat and grow on anything containing sugars such as cellulose, food, fruits, wood, drywall, wallpapers, textiles, and they produce airborne spores, a lot of them. It is these spores that most often cause health problems, which can vary from mild irritations, allergies, to systemic fungal infections with serious consequences in people with weakened immunity. 15 years ago, we first hardly experienced a lot of these mold-related health problems, without knowing the cause. A long and expensive investigation pointed the culprit, black mold. This experience gave us the idea and the motivation to form Mold Busters, a company dedicated to studying and affordably removing all kinds of molds. We have started as a humble Ontario business back in 2005 and have since expanded our mold-related services to many territories inside and outside Canada. However, as our services are only as good as mold knowledge, we started cooperation with mycologists and biologists from several universities with the idea to form the largest free repository of information on the biology, ecology, and harmful effects of all kinds of mold species on the internet. The link to our growing mold library is in the description of this video. We are also forming a mold busters community where mycologists and mold experts can share their knowledge and experience regarding the fungal kingdom with you. Here, you will be able to listen to lectures, videos, and share and ask any fungi and mold-related questions or problems you may have. Stay tuned to our channel to be one of the first members of our Mold Busters community. To become an expert in identifying mold in your home, and if you want to learn more about molds and other fungi, check our mold library on bossmold.com and subscribe to our channel.